Welcome everyone to Gameful Learning 101. I'm Katrine Becker. This is the continuation of a 10 question series that introduces me and the work I've been doing for about the last 15 years or so. It was originally created for the Game-Based Learning Virtual Summit that was held on November 1st to 3rd, 2023 and hosted by Patrick Felicia. I hope you enjoy it. And the final panel question. Looking ahead, what innovations and trends do you anticipate in the intersection of games, gamification, and simulations? How can these developments prepare the workforce for emerging challenges in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics? Well, I think here, probably the trendy answer should have something to do with AI. Um, and that's definitely going to be part of the equation going forward. But uh, I want to leave that discussion of AI to others um, and focus on something a little bit different. And that is the design aspect. Um, I think, you know, while technology is going to continue to get better and cheaper and easier to get at, easier to use, all of these things, the piece that doesn't seem to be kept keeping pace is design knowledge of how to go about designing effective instruction in the first place and secondly how to design effective games and simulations and how to gamify things in a way that is useful um, so you know educating the designers remains one of my things that i think needs to be uh, looked at far more than it has been. Um, one of my pet peeves has long been that um, in formal education, people in educational technology really don't seem to know tech very well. Uh, it seems odd that that would be the case, but I mean, it's one thing to know how to use uh, a piece of software, but it's a completely different thing to have an understanding of what that piece of software is doing. And that also applies to AI, right? I mean, if you don't understand how the AI works, if you don't understand how it is gathering its data, how it is learning, then um, you really don't have a good handle on what it can do, what it should do, and what to be wary of. And um, I have this concern that you know people in ed tech are going to jump on the AI bandwagon and start using this without having really any understanding of how it does what it does. And we already know that there are huge problems with things like um, face recognition with that have all kinds of built-in biases, voice recognition that have built-in biases. And that is something that we absolutely have to address. Um, in terms of designing education simulations and and that sort of thing um, it's you know we all need to get on the same page somehow if I'm talking to somebody about designing a game to uh, meet a particular need and you know when I say game I think of um, Minecraft and they think um, Jeopardy, we are not talking the same language. We have to understand how these things work. And, and still, even I, I have this notion of, of what I call um, decorative media, and it has uh, a tendency to make people trust the, uh, the software more so if it looks nice, if it sounds nice, if it has, you know, pretty voices, cute characters, and whatever. And they don't pay that much attention to the content. And what we I still see in far too many things that call themselves games is that they are um, not much better than an interactive worksheet, right? You've got all of this wrapping around that is beautifully colored, wonderful artwork, you know, narratives, all kinds of things. And then when it comes to the actual learning part, you're given a quiz. And that's not really any advance over what we were doing way back when all we had was paper to do these worksheets with. We need to come up with other ways of using these things. And um, I don't actually see, 
you know, the innovations on the horizon. But what we need in order to get at those innovations is a better educated design force who understands how to do things, ways to integrate what is known in education, and we know a fair bit, with what is known in game design and simulation design and how to turn those things um, to use those to our benefit.